Biz quiz. Audio. People are having problems with the audio already. It's very distorted. What about if we just talk like this? Can you hear it? Can you hear it much better now? Better? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Should we start again? Should we start again? Oris Bok goes, worse. Lovely, says Horny. Better, says Jean Bello. Getting better now. There you are. So we just have to be more... We can't be as excited. No, no. But we're not even on screen yet, and that kind of ruins the whole opening bit that we had planned, but we'll do it anyway. The wonders of modern technology. Edward, where are you? You said you'd be here with me at one o'clock. What's going on? Ah. I wonder who that could be. Ah. Oh. We're together in the same room for the first time ever. On live television. Can everybody hear us okay and see us okay? What do you think of our new tip? Oh, this was like I was having a coffee where I was like, oh, I just got in from London. Hello, my name's Ed and I'm from London. This is what I talk like now. I talk like I'm from London. Um, so how are you doing, everybody? Welcome to uh, 2019 Christmas special of the Biscuits with me, myself, Edward C. Lewis, and of course, the wonderful, the ever uh, pleasant, the ever vescent, the transparent. Uh, the depends on what I've been drinking. The... Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Here I am. Hey, I'm I'm doing very well. It's very good to see you in person here. Yeah. None, really none of the split screen stuff. We can do this as well. We can. Do this we can oh wow! Yeah, that makes me slightly ill. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the new TV that the bar got? I got the bar. We got it installed with a new. It's very nice. I mean, this TV is just um, yeah. It's. Yeah, it's a bit fancy, isn't it? It can do lots of digital things, like transport me to this room instead of doing it uh, over Skype. This is a strange. We've never done this before in the same room. No. How does it feel no. to you? Um, well, all I can say is don't look at the uh, the answers to the questions. I mean, I can't. Because you, your computer's just gone off. Like, I actually can't see them now. <laughs> That's okay. Now that, I've, now that I've now that I made you aware of that, yes. Yeah. So somehow I if look. If you see his eyes it, glance that way, there's yes. something very important that I need to do. Um, and you know what that is, isn't it? I've got to look for the chat. And I've got to say, revenue. Revenue is good for arts here. Andre 2099, Commander Ben Kai, Jack Little, JJ Smashing Pumpkins, Horny, Griefed, Snowy Monk, Kind of Danny 98, who might be new but welcome, Andre 2099, K4X Vendetta, uh, Smashing Pumpkins again, Jack Little, Big Fun Art. Oh, Moosey Pan, Grief. I've got to keep going. Keep saying hi. Keep saying hi. Panda Trap, Jean Bello, Jester D, Commander, Angel Eyes. The first time I've got to do this in such a long time. Over a year, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? Millstone Barn again. Spooky a lot. Keep keep saying hello in the chat to us, please. Uh, Bennett Rockstar, all the way from Thailand. Uh, uh, we have Zen Archer, Targrad. Uh, guess what? <gasps> all of the best ones are... Yeah. Quite a wonderful selection, yes. It is. Yeah. Quite oh, it is. I, like that. so... I like that. That's a little, a little addition to the um, to the catchphrase there. But of course, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the first stream I've done for over a year. Um, I thought it would be really, really lovely to gather some of the best ones in the world uh, into one space to do a quiz with me and me pop pops for the next sort of maybe half an hour to forty five minutes. Uh, you will hear the latest and greatest. In um, in question technology, uh, we have a new uh, system that we're using. I forgot to tell you about this. Uh oh. No, okay. It's, it's not true. He's he's going to do his thing where he reads from uh, the piece of the computer to his right. I'm then going to answer the questions versus you in the chat. So what I'll do is I won't be able to see the chat because I'll just sort of look over in this direction like this. It's really. Um, uh, high quality production uh, this time around. Totally. Uh, we uh, and then at the end, if you stick around to the very end, oh, you might be in luck for some festive 
Christmassy biscuit treats. And of course, I do have the spreadsheet and everything that we can possibly do within the restrictions that we've got. It's it's hard, but yeah, we're we're trying we're trying our very very best. Uh, so uh, shout out for Orange Spark as well. You have to go back to work. Sorry, you know, that's Orange one Spark. of the most exciting parts for me is the fact that I've never actually been involved in, uh, although I've been in the Biz Quiz, never a biscuit review. It'll be your so, first biscuit review. First so biscuit that's an review. extra treat for everybody else as well. Of course, we'll be slamming down some biscuits into some tea and uh, testing the, uh, yeah, but we've got 51 people here, which is just baffling to me and actually very, very wonderful as well. So yeah, so everyone can hear okay uh, and everyone's all right because before we begin, um, I want to talk about the year and I just want to talk about what's been going on and what we've been doing and also these fantastic springy little stars on my head. Look at those guys. Ooh, having a little tussle, having a little tangle. We should get two of these and we should wrestle. Uh, yeah, sort of like a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that feel in your face? This is good for you because usually you don't get this sort of annoyance while I'm jabbing Stag is getting rid of yeah, the... Um... We need a blindfold for Ed. Let's not do that. Uh, Baldy Wookie says that back. I hope this biz quiz too. We're going to do a biz quiz, of course. And the way the biz quiz works, well, why don't you tell everybody how the biz quiz works before we get into uh, a little bit about this year in summary? As far as the quiz is concerned, uh, yes, I, I haven't actually had access to you in a while, so it's not based on uh, one of your suggestions access this time. Access to them. Access to them. What does that mean? Did you, did, well, you know, we used to do it every every time we would have a biz quiz. Yeah. They would make a suggestion about the next, the topic for the next. But I don't oh, have that. Oh, of course. So it's entirely on me today. So I, I've split it right down the middle. Two two rounds. We have one that is unashamedly sort of Christmas oriented, and the second one is all over the show a bit of general knowledge. Okay. Mm. So twenty questions, and what I will do is I will ask a question. Okay, and uh, you guys then come in. No search engines other than your own brains, okay? And you come up with the answer, you put them down here. Uh, I'll, I'll take, if, if, if there is a variety of answers, I'll take the first three um, majority and come up with your answer. Once I have your answer, then I'll ask Ed to give his answer. We'll compare the two and see how the quiz goes. I hope that you understood that because I wasn't listening. He never did. So, uh, <laughs> so, so we've got 57 lovely, lovely, lovely passports. I just wondered, um, how have you all been this year? How was it? Uh, what, what was your favourite uh, part of it? Because usually we would, every week, we would get together and we would talk about what we've been doing and mm. how the world is and, how, you know, what anxieties we all have. I mean, this year would have been a strange one, of course, but, um, just... like, how... How, how is how is everybody? What was your highlight of the year? Let's be positive, like of course, because this, this, this is who we are. I, um... After 33 years, I went to, uh... Uh, spec savers and said hey you know let's have an eye test yeah. and uh, they said I was you know officially blind how had I been driving and all those sort of things and I now am the proud owner of these spectacles and I can actually see the responses of uh, Chastry. Well I wanted to um, uh, yeah and, and I apologize about the microphone we might have to lean in every now and again to read and make sure we're heard nice and clearly the problem is that this is the microphone from my laptop because what I've done is I've come over for a Christmas break to my pop pops and when I was here I didn't think I'd be doing a live stream and then sort of last minute two days ago I was like hey, you know what I'm thinking about doing this now this time are you okay yeah I'm just gonna make sure I'm in we're also a sitting. We're sitting in the room with where uh, my niece is sleeping. Not currently, because that <laughs> that would be a different kind of stream. So we're quiet. We're do, we, usually she sleeps in on, on the floor and also in a nice little bed. Oh yes, not yeah. Bed, yeah. Not no, so uh, yeah, we. It's not. The house is full. Just, there's no room yeah, in here. There's no room. We're scrunched in. Trying our best, um, and somebody left the lights on at the bar. Look, you see the, the How dare they? Yes. Somebody yeah. probably probably Phil. I'll send him a text later. Drummer Phil. He was one of them. What other catchphrases can we smash out right now while we're talking? Oh, all of the best ones. I oh, know that was a weird one. Um, uh, look at me now, Brenda. That was a good one. What else have we got? We'll, we'll get to the dumpling later. Everyone has to look after. Oh, crumbs. Oh, Say Sayuriosa is now hosting as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Favourite part of 29 is getting engaged at Gamescom. Grief, I hope for that. But congratulations for getting engaged. Anybody else got any highlights? My highlights? Uh, well, I started a new job um, at uh, a company called uh, Bethesda. 
Uh, they make games such as Skyrim. You may have you may have heard of that one, uh, and uh, Doom and stuff like that. Um, but that doesn't mean that was my. Some of my highlights have been seeing old friends, uh, meeting uh, new friends. Lots of travel to Norway for for meet with meeting new friends. Oh. It's Hello It's Colo's in the chat as well. Hello It's Colo! Good to see you. Thank you very much for joining us for the Fist Quiz and Fist Quiz chat. But you haven't told me your highlight of the year. I've had lots of highlights. Uh, one is, of course, unashamedly sporting and divisive. Uh, go Liverpool, you know, champions of Europe and champion club champions of the world as well. It's always nice to bask in someone else's glory. Sports chat. Sports, sports, chat, chat, sports, sports chat, chat. Sports chat. Sports chat. That's what you all come here for. Sports <laughs> chat. I know it. I know you know it. And you know that I know it. The pool, um, the pool team is doing so poorly. I can't really brag about that. Yeah. Uh, Correct. Well, the, pool, the pool team. Our pool team. Yes, if there's anybody in this area and you have even the slightest inclination to being able to, to pot balls on a pool table, please, we want you to join our team. So there's 55 people in the chat, and all of them are from um, international... I mean, let's... let's bit of a commute, a bit of a commute. Also, some people will be celebrating Christmas today, because, you know, uh, in some sort of Central yes. European uh, places, uh, a lot of people... <clears throat> so, for example... Uh, well, I know, for example, Norway. But today, it, uh, for the Norwegians, it is Christmas. This is when Christmas celebrations happen today. And it's the same, I believe, for Dutch people the night before. 24th is Christmas, is coming in the mood prayer. So I don't... Lots lots of communities no, 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 lots no. of communities in America also, you know, how, you know their forebears and things like that. Yeah. I know that we used to always open all our presents on Christmas yeah. Eve yeah. and things like that. Denmark and, as well. Yeah, Christmas Day was a lesser in America, celebration. In America, yes. Yeah, in, in certain really? communities. Down southwestern Ohio, it was the Pennsylvania and, and the Ohio Deutsch. Deutsch, uh, they called them the Pennsylvania Dutch, but they, they meant the German. Yeah, so there was a German influence. So is it only really the UK that do it like we do it? The UK is... The correct way. What is, a surprise. Is inimitably... The United Kingdom doing something that they think singular. is different from everybody else. Um, so, yeah, call out where you're from. We've got Germany, we've got Sweden, we've got um, the Amish. No one from the Amish. Norway. Oh, Amish. People oh, in yeah. London. Someone in Hackney. Liverpool. Pawnee. There you go. He's probably, probably quite happy, unless he's an Everton fan. Can't remember. Uh, we've got... Uh, new manager. Uh, Wales from Jester D. Hello. What are you doing in Wales? You're not from Wales, are you? Maybe you are. Uh, London, of course. Jack Little. Hi, Jack Little. Yes, Jack Little, I do need to apply to your... Um, message about going to lunch sometime soon. Uh, Spooky lot, UK Northwest. There's a pool player. We might be quite quiet. I, I'm going to turn up the mic. It's because I'm using my laptop microphone, but it will and potentially could get distorted if we shout. So we just need to be. We'll, we need to talk we'll sort of directly down to this way. Erudite. I, I forgot to maybe. bring my microphone. Um, sorry. Uh, that's much better. Uh, okay, so we have to just be. We're, we're working with our restrictions. We'll work what, with our diction. It's what we live in. I'm glad you <laughs> said finished that one off. Um, so close to Blackpool's a spooky a lot, yeah, because we're in Preston. Morecambe, Dr. K. Ross. Hey, Dr. K. Ross. Yeah. Um, I mentioned as well uh, Dr. K. Ross as well, mentioning earlier on, a bit of a tough year, transitional year. Yeah, I'm glad that it's kind of all coming together and all working out. Um, you haven't changed, Ed. Never prepared. Yep. That's me. Uh, the 38, the 38 are used to pure professionalism. I know. And Steve just said, oh yes, he's my favourite streamer. So I'm thinking, I don't want to say it now, but I'm thinking this just becomes an annual tradition. Once a year, a little special treat where we get back together and we talk to our 58 best friends. Why not? Let's do this. Is Doom Eternal getting space legs? Sure. Anyone want to ask me any questions about frontier developments? Because <laughs> I don't know the answers to them. But I know that there's going to be a lot of you here still from the Frontier days, which is great. And let me tell you, I miss those guys. And I get to spend a lot of time with Will and Zach and people like that. And they're, they're, they're still some of my closest friends as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, Shadmas has no change there then. <laughs> yeah, good point. Right, so um, what, are your, what, are your, what are your Christmas plans? My Christmas plans? Well, you know. Directed uh, into here. I mean, if it, yeah, directed into here. Um, obviously, cooking for you lot tomorrow. Uh, a combination of wonderful things. Everything from a, a turkey crown on this side to vegan delights on this side. We've got the full range. There will be a feast for everyone. Oh, 
and that, that brings me to my next point is that this year for me was um, somewhat of a change for me as well because I changed my diet to be entirely vegan. So, but you will be surprised about how many biscuits and items out there that are accidentally vegan. And by accidentally, I just mean they don't have egg or, or dairy, or dairy which is fairly very standard to be honest. Right, um, well, should we should we get on with the, the biz quiz? Is it time? Why not? Why not? Okay, so you're going to be nice and clear. So how are we going to work this again one last time? For those who have just turned up, how does the biz quiz work? I will, I will go question by question. I'll ask you one question, okay? And you respond online, okay, quite nicely. I have a look at your answers and come up with your composite answer, okay? Once I have your answer, then I'll ask Edward for his his answer. We'll compare the two, see who's right, and uh, tally up the scores as we go. We have 20 questions, 10 on Christmas, and 10 on general knowledge. How many recommend, what, how do you, what do you recommend to the chat? Um, what they do. Uh, well, I recommend number one, yes, that you, you don't hesitate. Um, it's, it's sort of, well, it's, as I said before, no other search engines than your brain. So what you think it is, go for it. Um, what we'll, as, as I say, if, if they're all different, then uh, we'll take a composite and go with the, the majority from the first three. Okay, so is this all Christmas themed? The first ten are Christmas themed. First ten are Christmas themed. Okay, so I am now going to stop looking at the chat and, uh, but just know hugs from Ed, 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 hugs. Merry Christmas, buddy. Missed seeing you about and greetings all. Thank you so much. Uh, Jack Little says this all sounds very weirdly familiar. No guesses. Chats are spooky a lot. Spooky a lot being very uh, uh, stern about this. We'll leave the physics ones to Dr. K. Ross. That's probably a good idea. Just the D. Uh, and Jack Little is just nodding at music pan. Uh, famous, famous biscuit review YouTuber. Who's this? No one told me about this. The, 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 you, know, you know what the you know what the amazing thing about this whole the amazing the last, thing uh, the is. amazing thing about the last year was that um, we I still get people sending me messages about biscuits on Twitter when anything happens in the news and anything at all happens in the news about biscuits I will be linked to it. That's, that's quite nice. It is, it's a nice thing to be associated with. I mean, there are quite a few things you, you wouldn't want to be associated exactly. with. Biscuits mean, is, is, is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Edward B. Lewis on YouTube. How oh, dare Edward B. Lewis on YouTube. All right, so I don't know what, how we're going to do this. I, I'm not even looking at that. No, no, you're, you're wonderfully removed. Chat, I will see you in about, we've got two rounds, so about 20 minutes-ish. We'll, we'll, we'll mash through these, and then it'll be time for a biscuit review, and then we will wish you a Merry Christmas. So, okay. Uh, let's, let's do this. I will remind you, of course, that uh, you guys are well far in the ascendancy as far as Edward and the and the biz quizzes are concerned. I think he won four or five in the course of several years. So um, <laughs> it was several years. It was several four years. Four or yes. five in several years. Tom Cook, San Lewis, the biscuit mogul. Ed, close your eyes. Okay, close your eyes. Here we go. No, so you, you and make can a wish. Turn, turn I can turn. Uh, there you go. He He's now devoid now. of any possibility of cheating. Unless he goes around behind me and through the other well, I can shoulder. see what they're saying. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Don't look there. Okay, here we go. Question number one in today's quiz. I'd like to know, what item of clothing did Harry Potter get as a Christmas present during his first semester at Hogwarts? What item of clothing did Harry Potter get as a Christmas present during his first semester at Hogwarts? And all of a sudden... It's frozen here. Yes. Okay, no, no, that's okay. No, I'm, I'm watching. Okay, uh, I, I, I have their answer. I see answer. Two, two I out of three. I think, well, maybe I'm thinking of a different book, but it, it might be Assless Chaps. It, it might be. Um, and, uh, well, their answer was actually... No, I, um, <laughs> I think it's the Invisibility Cloak. Okay. And that's what you think, you think it is? Is that what you're, you're offering as your answer? Oh, I'm offering... That as my okay, he's offering as his answer an invisibility cloak. Did he get what did they say? And yeah, two out of three of the first two out of three was also invisibility cloak, and you are both correct. That's because we're all potheads. <laughs> One apiece. <laughs> all Harry Potheads. Uh, a nice way to start. Right. With a draw. Question number two then. <laughs> the number worst two. present for a teenage boy. <laughs> exactly. I'd like to know which fictional <laughs> Christmas time character uh, has George C. Scott, Alistair Sim. Daffy Duck, Patrick Stewart, Michael Caine, Fred Flintstone, and Jim Carrey 
all played on TV or film. Got it. Know it. Which fictional Christmas time character? George C. Scott, Alistair Sim, Daffy Duck, Patrick Stewart, Michael Caine, Fred Flintstone, Jim Carrey, all played on television or film. I have their answer. Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge is absolutely How correct. How do you spell Ebenezer? Ebenezer is uh, four E's. E B E N E Z E R. Yeah, I feel like there should be an ad, ad in there. Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer? Carry Ed on. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Next question, please. We'll, we'll, we'll see what sort of presents you give tomorrow. Yes, okay. Um, question number it's been three an then. Expensive year. Two apiece, by the way. Two. Well done, everybody. Well done. Two, two all. Keep question it, number three. Look at everybody having a Okay, number three is. Everyone's doing a good job. Number three is a, a bit of a multiple guess, okay? I'm going to give you three answers. One of them is correct, two are incorrect. You make the choice, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to know which book begins Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without any presents. Is it Little Women, A Christmas Carol, or Roald Dahl's Matilda? Ooh. Which book begins Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without any presents? Is it Little Women, a Christmas Carol, or Roald Dahl's Matilda. for inspiration. Oh, did you pick a book? I have their answer. Oh. You're looking to let you out, right? If, you, if you're looking for inspiration, the English is that side, okay? The American is that row over there. I think it... I, is it... Oh, wow, you just told me it was an American author. I didn't. <laughs> I'm just telling you where to look if you want to... Is it... Is it... Is it... It might be. It might be. Matilda? Is it Matilda? Yeah. It is not Matilda. Yeah, they got it right. No. They got it right. Yes, it was Little Women. <laughs> Louise May Alcott. Never read it, that it was an American author. Yeah. yeah. There's a new um, film out with Timothy Chalamet um, and Greta Gerwig uh, and all that lot. And it's Little Women. It's supposed oh, to be yes. very, very good. Um, haven't seen it. Haven't read it. I've seen a little bit of the. the Dare I say the dance sequences outside the main ballroom, sort of the stuff they show on uh, on daytime television when you're retired. Yeah. Why does Tom Cat zero eight fifteen want to fast forward? What have we done wrong? I don't With know. The Christmas women. All right. Uh, is it as good as the Black Christmas remake? Has to get a little. Ah, uh, 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 As I say, I haven't seen. I haven't seen the uh, the, the new one, but as I say, yeah, uh, uh. no. Okay. You're ahead. You're ahead. You're ahead. No, no, they're ahead. Okay, they, I'm, I'm talking to them now. You're ahead. Three, two. Edward, you're behind. Two, <laughs> Thank three. you for making that clear. Okay. Thank you for making that very clear. Question number four. All right. One minute. Number four. Traditionally, yeah. after kissing someone under the mistletoe, what you should you... Let me get this right. What should you then remove? Uh, traditionally, after kissing someone under the mistletoe, what then you should remove traditionally? Traditionally. Traditionally, you should remove something. Okay. Well, what you've got to do, what, what you've got to add is a, a good Instagram filter to post it on Instagram. Uh, because you, you Cause you'd never yourself, be you'd yourself doing it. Uh, I have their answer. So, um, um, yes. Your trousers. <laughs> uh, what sort of parties you go to? Yes. It's not that kind of show. It's not that no, kind of not, show. Not, not I don't least. actually know. I've got no idea. You don't know? But think about it. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Kissing. Drops. After kissing someone under the mistletoe, what should you then remove? I don't know. I don't know. Well, a berry. A, a berry? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know. Never heard of this. A berry is correct. For is good, it? For good luck. Yes. <laughs> for good luck, you remove a berry. They got it right off. You're still one behind. Okay, I, right. I entry. Let's see. We've got. We've got. I'm gonna have to look at some good. Good answers. We've got um, lipstick, berry, berry. So they they get it. Oh, they, they, they got all the first horny. three. So I'm I'm glad that I am as sophisticated as horny is. Your tongue says Tom Cat. That's a good one. Uh, uh, underpants. Uh, yeah. Why is she under we clothed already? Zach Antonacci's <laughs> in the chat. Everybody, greetings. Zach Antonacci. Greetings. Uh, okay. On to question number five. Halfway through this first round. Right. The American ad writer Robert L. May invented which colorful Christmas character in 1939? I was sorry. I was partly concerned. Have you somehow got a shot? Have I got a shot? Yeah, just move it. Like I just. 
There we go. Yeah. Togetherness. I'll say that the American ad writer Robert L. May, um, back in 1939, he invented which colorful Christmas character? The year again? 1939. The American ad writer Robert L. May invented which colorful Christmas character? I don't know. So I'm. My first initial thoughts were. You got their answer. Yet? You got I've got their answer. answer. And, but, but it was quite wide ranging, and I had to take it as a, a composite two out of the first three. Coca Cola. I think it's Coca Cola. AKA Father Christmas. Father Christmas, but with the red, the, red, the red, yeah, red. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is a very good answer, but incorrect. And that's what they went with as well. They had Santa and Red Santa as two of the first three. The first one with a question mark was absolutely correct. Unfortunately, it was only one of three. And uh, that was Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Was it really? Rudolph was only invented in 1939, yeah. Oh, I thought he was. I thought. Oh, I you thought have your eight little reindeer, and Rudolph was separate in a, in a song. That, I think it's one of the top two, along with White Christmas. That is the, one of the best-selling Christmas songs of all time in the USA. Nice. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and I'm Dreaming of A. I'm Dreaming of A. Uh, no chance here in, uh, in, in Kirkham today, yeah. So you're both wrong. The score remains, uh, though, 4-3 to them. Okay. Hi, uh, everyone. Oh, we've got some more people back in the chat. Well, Mustang Barn, I know he's already been here. But Corpse Necrois says, now that is a face I haven't seen in ages. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I hope you're well, too. And I hope everybody can uh, hear uh, okay. Oh, Ed, you're quite the singer. <laughs> it's Rudolph. I know, that's the only reason I do it, is to get the compliments from you guys. Um, it's still not canon, says Jack Lil. <laughs> it's still not canon. <laughs> Rudolph is good. He's just still not canon. Brilliant. Uh, right, let's move on to the next question. Question number six. Yeah, I promise I'm going to say I'll see no, 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 no. Panic. Uh, well, we're halfway through, as I say, and, uh, well, the chat stream, uh, ahead for three. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, question number six. In which city is Kevin left home alone at Christmas? I'm talking about the first home alone, yeah. the original home alone. In which city is Kevin left home alone? That's question number six. Hmm. I have their answer. Um, I think it's Darfur. <laughs> that, that could have been the destination maybe his parents were on their way to. <laughs> right, so I, think, I think it was Paris. I think it's, um, it's not. I think the second film is New York. And that's why it goes to New York. But the first one, is it Chicago? It is Chicago, yes, correct. And they said New York. Jester D got in a little bit too late saying, nah, that was the second one, but they'd already oh, uh, secured an answer with, uh, with two, guys. yeah. So it's back to being, yes. well, four points apiece yes. out of six. Yeah. Moving swiftly on to question Chicago. number seven. Number seven. Uh, in a Christmas Carol. People, people's answers are coming quite slow. And if I would suggest everybody has control of my ability to I don't know. Or if you're like me, you know, shrug your shoulders because I'm a technophobe. Just D's getting annoyed. I'm I'm loving it because if I win, I'm <laughs> I'm laughing. Uh, here we go. Question number seven then. In A Christmas Carol, what was the first thing that Ebenezer Scrooge went out and bought Ebenezer. after his change of heart? What was the first thing that Ebenezer Scrooge bought after his change of heart? You know, he'd had the set to with all those ghosts and sort of learned his lesson and appreciated the, the nature of what Christmas is all about. What did he go out and buy? Um, <laughs> they, they'd be beating your hands down. That they, um, I have their answer. I have their answer. If I was at Benizia Scrooge, I would buy a little puppy. Just a little You'd buy a little a little puppy. puppy. And I would I know I'd buy everything and buy all over the town. 
uh, pint bitter. I'm questioning my own sanity on this now as I, as I, as I read all of their answers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know. I don't know. I'm going to say... Moose Pants says, a, a ta- make, make, make the little puppy tasty and you're yeah. okay. Um, Stop it. He's never seen a film I've never seen before. I've never seen any of the films. It doesn't interest me. It doesn't... I don't know if I like any Christmas films. Well, it's, it's not so much. A, it was originally, of course, a story. Uh, Dickens, well, made his name by serializing things. He, you know, he, he would put a chunk in here, and then next month a chunk in here. You know, so he made a lot of money doing yeah. that sort of thing. Um, I've never seen a, I've never seen a Christmas Carol. I've well, never seen have Carol to. Vorderman. I have seen Carol Vorderman. You've seen Carol Vorderman. I've sat next to. This is my highlight, 2019. I sat down next to Carol Vorderman. Uh, in the ivy, I did then. This might be a bit then you were shoot away from the table. Yeah, yeah. I, I sneaked. I snuck in. This might be a bit TMI. I did vomit that night in the ivy, <laughs> and that's why I like to keep it classy, ladies and gentlemen. I like to keep it classy. At the, in the ivy. at the table, were you no, at the no, table when you were no, in, in the bathroom? You excused yourself. Yeah. You said, I "Carol, said, well, sorry, I, I don't want to share this with you." Swayed my way. To because you know how much it is per money for a cocktail at the Ivy. Oh, uh, I wasn't paying for these, by the way. Twenty-two pounds for a cocktail. Hey, this is this is Kirkham. I mean, that's that's where you pay for your mortgage. <laughs> uh, anyway, Jason, that's right, Zach Antonich. This is a true story. That was my highlight of 2019. You know who else was there? Riz Ahmed from um, a fantastic television series such as the. Night of, which I recommend watching, and also Star War, the Rogue One, the Rogue One of Star War. Anyway, nice facilities, yes. Right, let's let's move on and stop talking about vomit stories. Merry Christmas. Well, like like I said, Merry I, Christmas. I need confirmation now because uh, they universally said that uh, basically the first thing he went out was to buy a goose. Is that right? Well, I I have written down here, but then again, some of my. I'll look at this one. Some of my uh, my references are checkered occasionally. Uh-huh. I have down here a turkey, so we need to check that out. There is a difference between Could a turkey and a goose. My phone? Yeah, get your phone out. It's all uh, is, it, is it a goose or a turkey? His first purchase. We know the turkey's actually been on the menu for about 150 years here. That it was originally introduced to us via Mexico. That it is pretty ugly. The waddle and all that sort of, you know, that sort of thing. Just texting. <laughs> yeah, look, read my hand. <laughs> and we go. Uh, keep, 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 keep entertaining. I'll keep entertaining. Let me entertain. So what's the, what's the, um... Nah, it's. it's so the question. So the the question is, was it a turkey or was it a goose? Now, if you oh, if you if you buy a goose, if you buy, a, I only did a goose once, and I'm telling you, you have to spend all the time, every hour, taking goose fat out of the bottom, draining. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You know, and, and and you end up with very nice, and then you've got all this goose fat, which you're supposed to use throughout the next year. But you could do, I suppose. The first social act of this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You could do as, as Mark Twain used to do, and actually just rub the goose grease all over your body, sew yourself into your underwear, and come out the next spring. The first social act of this newly reformed Scrooge is to purchase something gift and giant prize turkey to the family because underpaid and never worked for it. Crash it. It was a turkey, so again, no point to either side for two very different answers. Um, yeah, and at least he saved himself the difficulty of, of all that grease. Okay, so um, it's back to tide, isn't it? Back to tide. Back to tide. After seven questions, we have a tie game so far. Tie game. Question number eight. Number eight. Okay, listen very carefully. The name of which activity, often associated with the Christmas season, comes from a Greek word meaning we can act anything? The name of which activity, often associated with the Christmas season, comes from a Greek word meaning we can act anything. That's not yet, answer. not yet. One more time. The name of which activity associated with the Christmas season comes from a Greek word meaning we can act anything. 
I have four answers of theirs and uh, three of them. Okay, yes, yeah, so I have their answer. Is it pantomime? It is pantomime. Pantomime. They went for charades. You know, well, one panto and three charades. Yes. So, Wilston Barn. You you move into the lead by one. I love this, Justin. It could be panto, actually. Whoopsie. Oh, dear. EastEnders has come out of a score bit. That's a good one. I like that. Um, the Emmerdale Christmas special. <laughs> They're all trying the same things. Very good. Next question. Edward, why, why are you kicking me? What? Sorry. Oh, Was he's I? He's telling... He wants me to slow down because he's in the lead, and he just wants to <laughs> savor this moment. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, a little bit by this. <laughs> just, just a joke. Is yes. this going to be a rare headwinds as Fred Morgan? Yeah. We've got another round, yes. and we've got twelve more questions to go. There's plenty of time. Question number nine, next to last in this first round, all about Christmas. According to the song "The Twelve Days of Christmas," how many drummers drumming were there? Were there ten, eleven, or twelve? I'll just throw you the three numbers that you were probably thinking about already. According to the song The Twelve Days of Christmas, how many drummers drumming were there? 10, 11, or 12? I have their answer. I think it's 11. I wanted to know. What did you, did you want to know the question? Was, the know. question is, uh, how many drummers drumming are there? Yeah, it's 11. 11, 11. 11 is absolutely incorrect. Oh, no. It's 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, oh, no. 10 lords a-leaping. Okay. Oh, no. last, last, last night, everybody, we went to a quiz. A quiz that my dad hosted, this man right here. It was very good. But one of the questions was that question. No. It was similar. It was similar, and, and that's I why I knew I could catch you out. And yet I still got it wrong. <laughs> because last night it was the Lord's Leaping and there were ten. This time it was the Drummer's Drumming and there were twelve. Oh, we won that quiz, though. They did, yes. Uh, it was a fantastic effort. Thanks. Um, yeah. I got one, one last one. <laughs> but not this one. And so they move into the... Well, no, it's, it's back to being a draw. Level. Even Stephen with one question in yeah. his first round remaining. Question number ten, then. Uh, how many of Santa's eight little reindeer have names that begin with a letter D? How many of Santa's eight little reindeer have names that begin with a letter D? Okay. Not the names. Not the names necessarily. Okay. Here you go. Just the number. They're talking over here on, on the chat stream whether they might let you win. Just, just to make you feel good over the holiday season. I have their answer. And it was split, but the majority have gone for a particular number. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. All the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Is anyone else distracted by this man talking next to them? <laughs> okay, and, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just the D's will do. Yes, Baldy Wookie, I think we did have this question dancer, last year. Dasha, dancer. Possibly. They've already given their answer, so you can't. Oh, no, no, no. Dasha, I'm just, dancer, I'm Comet, just Dixon, talking. Comet, Prancer, Rudolph. I'll give you a, a little clue here, just to make you feel even more insecure. Rudolph doesn't count. He only no, came no. around in 1939. Two. The eight. Two. Two. Yeah, I can't remember what the other one. And what are they? I'm missing Blitzen. Yeah, it's two. Dasher and Dancer. Dasher and Dancer. Dasher and Dancer. What about Donner? <laughs> Donner and Blitzen. Cuban and... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, they had three, you have two. Guess what? Okay. They're back in the lead. But we are. Let's go. At the end of that first round... I, I, I believe it's a lead of one to them. So, um, all right, let's move it on. We, we have nice and quickly. Let's smash through this because we, we we're, we're going to hold people's attention for far too long. People are still at work. Leave it or not. Work. Ah, uh, well, this is work. This is work this of a, is work. This is you know, yes, of, of a different sort. 
um, mental exercise. Okay, this yes. next, the next ten Somebody questions. Has big fun, huh? These next ten questions are all over the show, or all over the snow. How's that? Because, uh, oh. yeah, it's, it's just a bit of general knowledge. All over the snow. Question number one. What nationality was the Renaissance artist Botticelli? Botticelli. What nationality was the Renaissance artist Botticelli? It's Christmas or it's Christmas here. Oh. Now, these are. We said we've had our Christmas right, round. Okay, that was the Christmas round. That was the Christmas round. These are just general knowledge. Botticelli. Ah. I like their answers. And I like their attention to detail. Italian. Italian is absolutely correct. Yes. As far as the present is concerned, uh, who was it? Where are we? Ah, uh, oh, Tuplex, you know, actually talked about Florentian, you know, and because it was a city state at the time of Florence. So we're going to allow Italy, which was well, their general answer. Was, yeah. But, so uh, like, but that sorry. was a very good answer. Like yeah. Two plaques. Yeah, you don't yeah, get any yeah. points for being fancy schmancy two plaques just because you know. <laughs> just because you know. Excellent answer. Excellent yeah, answer. But you don't. No more points. Okay, question number no two. But they're still ahead by one. Question number two. One for you, fashion aficionados. Yeah. This name... Me. Clearly me. This name for a backless slipper is also the name of a stubborn animal. This name for a backless slipper is also the name of a stubborn animal. Hmm. Anil Lewis. <laughs> I have their answer. Hmm. He's, yes, he's thinking of. He knows nothing about backless slippers, so he's now going through his head. A, 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 a donkey. There's not going to be a donkey shoe, is there? I don't know. Ga a gator. Let's go for gator. A gator? That's not a stubborn animal, though, is it? Is it a stubborn animal? All animals can be stubborn, surely. Uh, yeah. Characteristically stubborn. No, no clues given here. I have their answer, and your um, answer is... A, a, a mule. <laughs> you got there in the end. Yes, stubborn as a mule. Just think of the, the simple phrases. A mule is correct. Okay. Yeah, you know, those back to the slippers that you sort of flop around on. They don't have a, a strap at the back. That's a mule. Okay. I've never heard of that. I've just guessed it. Basically. Okay, well, we now know he's not a fashion aficionado. Do okay. they get it? Did they get it? Yes, they got it. How do you Absolutely know these, How do you know these things, people? <laughs> okay, uh, so they maintain their they maintain their one point lead, and it's question number three in our second round. I'd like to know which rapper released his new album "Jesus Is King" in late October of this year, two thousand and nineteen. Which rapper released his new album "Jesus Is King" in late October of this year? I'm waiting for them to do whatever it is you said to pound on so it advances. They're thinking. They're thinking about this. <laughs> okay, I have their answer. Kanye West. Kanye West is absolutely correct, and uh, they, too, uh, also knew that. So, I don't know how that, I mean, what's, uh, still a one-point lead. Um, yeah, we could probably have an entire time just talking about his strangeosity, as your uncle used to say. Um, it's an interesting term for strangeness, yes. Okay, question number four. The television sitcom Fraser, okay, starring Kelsey Grammer, was a spin-off of which 1980s sitcom? The television sitcom Fraser, starring Kelsey Grammer, was a spin-off of which 1980s sitcom? I have their answer. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Cheers to everyone. Yes, it was cheers. Said, of course, in Boston. Where everybody and, uh, knows your name. Everybody knows your name. You, that that's where you, you want to go, where everybody knows your name. Yeah. And, like uh, right here. It is. In this live stream. Live stream. Okay, so they maintain their one point lead, and it's at the halfway stage now. Question number five in our, our final round A new species of beetle with two long pigtail-like antenna has been named after which Swedish activist? 
a new species of beetle with two long pigtail-like antenna has been named after which Swedish activist? And I have their answer as well. Greta Thunberg. Yes, it is. You know, it's it's Neloptodes grete is, you know, the, the genus and species. No, no. And seriously, the scientists have honored her with, with her own beetle species. Okay, yes. Neloptodes grete. Question number six. Number six. Humble Pie is the title of the autobiography of which television chef? Humble Pie, the title of the autobiography of which television chef? As I say, just in your head, who should it be? Who could it be? Who is it? Write it down. Mm. They're starting to come through. Am I winning yet? You're one behind. Oh. <laughs> I, I have their answer. Which, I mean, think about it. Humble Pie. Which television chef would, would have uh, an autobiography entitled Humble Pie? I mean, the most humble. Shouty Man. What's his name? Um, Shouty Man. I like this. You're a bread sandwich. You're an idiot sandwich, that guy. Could be. If he has a name. I can't remember his name. It's making me sad. What's his name? Shouty guy. Shouty man. Shouty man. <laughs> yeah, the one, you know, who has the, the, the kitchen nightmares. Gordon Ramsay. You see, you knew who. You, yeah, you, you yeah. came up with the name. Um, I'd like to say no, but it is correct. Yes, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> and they got it as well. So well they done. maintain their one point lead. Okay, next question, please. Question, to do. question number seven. Which British Prime Minister said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want anything done, ask a woman. Which British Prime Minister said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want anything done, ask a woman. Boris Johnson. <laughs> Damn, no, we're not. Not when I had to do that. We never tell. Not yet, because I don't have their answer yet. I have their answer now, thank you. Churchill, you think he yeah, had more I of a confidence in, in, in a woman's decision-making capabilities? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Hilda Thatcher, yes. Margaret Thatcher, yes, yes, exactly. Of course, or no man Roberts, said, no, eventually no Thatcher. prime ministerial man said that about themselves, did they? No, of course not. There's that plenty of, as you say, there's plenty of time. Too, that would be far too humble pie. There's plenty of time for, for Johnson. Plenty of time for Johnson to say all Maybe sorts not. of things that I'm sure he will. Maybe but in not. the meantime... And also, as Jad Moss points out, Churchill was actually a bit of a sexist, so yeah, it's never going to be... Thatcher. You guys got it right. I he got it right. You maintain your one-point lead over Ed. Yes. And we're on to oh. question number eight. Simple 50-50. Simple 50-50. I'd like to know which property costs more in the game of Monopoly. Is it Bond Street or Oxford Street? Which one costs more, Bond Street or Oxford Street? I'm talking about the UK version. Um, got tangled. Just, just throw it down. I have their answer. Bond. Bond Street or Oxford Street? Uh, right, look, I've done something wrong here. I accidentally looked. You accidentally looked at their answers. <laughs> and I was did, it, did it reaffirm the answer no, you had in no, your head, no, or did it? Oh, it didn't. we'll ha we'll have to throw that question out then. Okay, hang on. It's gone. Okay, you guys, I'm that's so good. Sorry. You maintain that one point lead I'm so anyway. Sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. Did they got it right? They would have got it right. What yes. Answer? Uh, Bond Street. I was going to go for Oxford Street. <sighs> you don't admit that to them now. You're still one behind. You would have been two behind. Okay, one behind. Save myself. Come on. Y yes, but you're Same going to beat possible. him legitimately. Disqualified. Question number nine. Number nine. Yeah. Which American singer-songwriter, which American singer-songwriter, <sighs> along with Andrew Lloyd Webber, has written a song which she sings over the end credits of the new film adaptation of Cats? One more time. I'm, 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 I'm told this. I haven't seen it. 
which American singer-songwriter, along with Andrew Lloyd Webber, has written a song which she sings over the end credits of the new film, Craig Craig, Craig Rats. Yeah, of the new film adaptation of Cats. Which, I don't know. I have their answer, yes. She actually sings it at the end credits. Yes, you say it's Rihanna? Mm-hmm. It is Taylor Swift. Oh, she's and she, in it. She's actually in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got her in it and got her singing and, and writing songs oh, and all sorts. Oh, this is all falling apart. I've only got the stamina for 50 minutes, all right? I think we're now at 51 minutes. The, the, I'm the, tired. The chat stream is, and Get into rightly so, my goal. to... Two in the lead with one question remaining. Okay, so uh, yes, yeah, so it's it's uh, Tay-Tay fans. It's victory again for the. Did we win? Uh, the chat stream. They have one, but they have one question last uh, left. Uh, we might I as well have to go through it. I'm not going to do this again. Until which vowel? Year. Which vowel is represented by a single dot in Morse code? Now remember, you've got A E I O U. Sometimes why? I know what vowels are. Why is that not a vowel? It, it can... What are you talking about? Oh, when it's when it's used uh, in the word uh, zygmoid. Uh, uh, so right, I know what SOS is. It, it stands as an I, and like if, if you say occasionally at the end, it, it does take the function of at the beginning, like of uh, Yahoo. It's it's not a vowel. All I want for Christmas is a lesson in. Grammar usage. Okay, um, let's see. I'm, 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 I'm just going to guess. It's not O. I'm taking two of their first three. And, uh, I'm going to guess A. You're going to guess A. They guessed A. It was E. Oh. Okay. Single dot. So, so after 20 questions, not bad. You, you, you lost by two. And? And they won by two. Congratulations, chat. Uh, you are the winners of this year's big Christmas 2019 Biz Quiz. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did. Uh, did you enjoy yourselves? Fantastically. You know, because I, I don't lose these quizzes. I, I merely watch someone else, you know, bite the dust and someone sweep applauded. Only victory, says Musipan. Why is the wannabe vowel? Uh, Tom Cook Sound says Noel. Uh, what do we win, says Tom Cook Sound? I'm afraid you just win. You just get to keep your dignity while I Plotus. live in front of 60 people. On you, have until, you have until next Christmas to... to... So, so, oh, yeah, the entire year, just whenever I say... I am the champion. Media, you can say, ah, well, yeah, but we're the, we're the cool champions. Uh, don't feel terrible, Horny. I'm only joking. It's all, we're all happy to hear. Uh, anyway, right, so we're going to move on because we want to be done by 1 o'clock because we have lots of Christmas activities to be taking part in that don't involve being broadcast on the internet. So we're going to just jump in straight. Oh, we need... We need... We, we need tea. We need tea. Tea for the dunk test. Do you, want me to, do you want me to... Maybe go and make a couple I'll, of teas. I'll, I'll shout down and yes. see if, you know, the upstairs, mine, downstairs. Mine's without milk. Right. Yours is without milk. Okay, okay you chat. Way. We'll get some tea. Okay. Are you going to watch him? Nice guy. We can talk about him now, not to him. Uh, um, but yeah, how are you doing? Uh, what is what is what is life like uh, on the other side? What is what is what was it? What what you what have you been up to? You can't make us wait another entire year, Ed. Yes, we can. But will it be what Yorkshire tea? I believe it is Yorkshire tea because Yorkshire tea is the only tea for me. I even brought it with me. So next week, says, "Hey, I was Bethesda treating you. Bethesda's great. It's a really, really good fun, uh, really good place to work at. Really lovely people to work with, and it's a it's a different kind of job. I think people think that it's going to be this uh, big corporate entity, when in fact it's it's not that at all. It's much more." Um, it's actually a smaller, tight-knit group of people than you would expect. Uh, really, really enjoying it. Really, uh, very different experience. And what I've loved the most is, well, what I've loved quite a lot is that I've kept up with people like Will and Zach and, uh, and the guys over at, um, at Frontier. Uh, and it just shows that, and this kind of stuff, and people tweeting and... And, and all the love still shared and all the excitement that I still have for the uh, for those those guys and their games that they're making and it just kind of shows that that love never goes away and that and it, it, it never was just about um, 
Yeah, and I think that's the spirit of Christmas is everyone being supportive and lovely towards one another. Uh, don't you have to bring me back? It's all right. Everything's happening. Everything's fine. Have you stopped going to everything? No, I still go to everything. Uh, I've done a lot of travel this year. I'm getting that very uh, uh, what's it called? Travel fear, uh, travel fever. Um, the, the yeah, the community ambassador program is pretty sweet too. Says Letitia Lemon. That's something that we're going to be working on even more next year. Uh, that's because Letitia is one of the ambassadors at uh, Bethesda. But that's more on the UK guys. So UK team, it's a very different experience. Um, but I know we, I know you miss me. And I miss you too, but it's not its not just a good job, not just a game, it's a community of people. And I see the world as some real genuine people in it, Tom Cook Sound. Oh, it, it really does. What? Well, of course it does. And you're all, most of you are all here already. Um, I did think about doing more of these sorts of streams in the future, but I am busy. And what I like about doing these type of streams kind of came to a natural conclusion. It's still fun to sort of join it, come back, and get to be silly every now and again, once in a while. I think that's what we, well, that's what we're doing now. Uh, Krill causes any news on Starfield Ed, and that is not for, for me to talk about, and nor is it for this for this particular stream. Uh, but I'm I'm excited just as much as you are. Um, well, now I need to know more. Okay, so you'll 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 find out. Sounds amazing, says Sadie. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you, Tom Cook. Sounds very kind of you. Uh, Actually, I go up and I find puppies and I put them in a bag and I spin them around and then throw them into traffic. Well, you know, I don't do that. That's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Uh, this is kind of like the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. But this, this, the interesting thing about this time is we need some private time with my dad now as well. We need to have a little sit down. This is like Skyping with your, your mum at Christmas, isn't it? It's, it's very different. Well, for me, it is. You speak to her once a year uh, on Christmas Day. <laughs> And it's a very one-way conversation, just like this one. Um, yeah, am I eating? I'm, I'm eating. Thank you, Chuck Little. I'm eating. I'm eating too much of anything. There's, there's so many incredible, delicious vegan treats in London. Like, so much good vegan junk food. If you want to know about vegan junk food, I'm your guy. Uh, I do like the guy. I've never watched Gavin and Stacey. This is the thing. I've never watched Gavin and Stacey. Right, should we get something prepped while we wait for our tea to turn? We're in the biscuit room! Do you guys remember this? This is, I think it's the same backdrop as it used to be. So now, if you haven't seen this show before, now it's time for us to review a biscuit. And we use this very spreadsheet, which is, well, oh, sorry, wait, there's one thing missing. We've got our biscuits, we've got our tea on the way, we've got our reviewer, but there's something missing. Does anyone know what it is? Does anyone know what it is? Does anyone know? Can anyone remember? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a Stewie Griffin impression. Um, and yes, we found out so what it is. It looks like fantastic, right? That's the whole point. PDF. Now, let me have a look around and see if I can find the spreadsheet. Oh, no, he isn't. We're getting part of my me right here. And it is. It is indeed the spreadsheet. I have found it. Now, this is a PDF version of the spreadsheet, meaning basically um, I have actually lost the original is somewhere on the internet, but I, to be honest with you, I don't know where I was on the internet. Move things around, get this working. Am I still alive? Am I still, am I still broadcasting? Can't see a thing. I'm still here. That's good. Right, now I can move through the spreadsheet, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, but yes, I am. The spreadsheet, get paid to find it. Yeah, his page would usually send it up to me. Uh, something like that. But as you can see, over the years, um, ever since 2000 and whenever it is that I started, I reviewed, and I think this is the most up to date spreadsheet, uh, that's 117. It is not, but it's a good example of the spreadsheet and it will remind us of the, uh, the format. But basically, we have, we back with our teas, wonderful leaves, they do, I'm glad they do, back, thank you. But basically what I did is I reviewed 186 biscuits. So this will be the 187th biscuit. This is great. These are great. Mm. Look at these things. What's the, what is in here? Uh, great, fantastic. Yorkshire tea? Yorkshire tea. The only it tea is Yorkshire for me. Tea. Great, we got the catchphrase in. 
Right. And what we do is we go through and I read 186 biscuits over the space of three years or whatever it is. And we manage to... So if you... In Chapter Cakes on Sheet 2, don't worry about Chapter Cakes. Because they were denied as a... Uh, were they on Sheet 2? Were they? Uh, I think they probably were disqualified for being a cake. Uh, Jammy Dodgers, maybe you're thinking of. Chapter Cakes should not be on here. And if they are, I'll be very, very offended. Uh, and, and things were being disqualified as cakes. Anyway, we did 186 biscuits and we reviewed them, and it was very much uh, insane insanity. So we're going to have to just write down the scores and then update it later uh, if you want us to take those. This is your first biscuit review. Are you it is. I'm, I'm part excited. Of part of the biscuit review. I mean, okay. all right. My heart, and it has nothing to do with the age rule fibrillation, is going pit a pat. Yeah, mine is actually. And it's nothing to do with the Now. Going to do today is that we haven't done this before. I don't believe. We're going to review the well. Well, first of all, whose birthday is a birthday, right? Tomorrow is a big birthday. Tomorrow's a big birthday. For who? Sorry. For who? Jesus. Jesus. And what more to do on Jesus' birthday than Oreo birthday party edition? Here we go. Oreo. They, they, Oreo. They don't do a Christmas edition. No. But did you know that Oreos are vegan? Um. You, you should. Um, they do say on it, may contain, may contain, may contain milk, but I think that's just to make sure that they don't, like it's not a main ingredient, it's not on purpose that they put it in there. They, they thought, they've advertised previously as being vegan. Yeah, so, so they're, they're vegan. Uh, happy birthday, baby Jesus. So this is, this is the biscuit review for the day. Uh, and so unfortunately, I don't have, um, same factory as, as far as I'm thinking of, basically, yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to write this down in the sheet, so you guys are going to have to play along at home, or whatever, but let's find out if the Oreo birthday party is any good. So, as we all know, there's no points for packaging in this one. That's one of the classics. Uh, I you, do like the Russell, though. though. Yeah, I it's, don't. It's part, of, it, no, it's part of the anticipation. Right. So you know, if, if, if you... Yeah. You hungry? Uh, always. Always hungry. Okay, here we go. Not in this game. Oreos have been around for quite a while, you know. They smell... Atrocious. That's my immediate, my immediate thing that I'm noticing. They smell like an Oreo. Is that they smell? I, I remember the, the, the advertising slogan slogans from no, America back. No, they don't smell like an Oreo. They smell awful. 60s. Oreos, Oreos, the very best so... cookies there ever was. Little girls have pretty curls, but I like Oreos. You're, you're a bit... the, 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 these were actual advertising uh, slogans uh, back in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like Oreos, generally speaking. Um, but let's find out how these Oreos fit. Somebody else can help me work out where they fit on this, but to be honest, we don't have... Anyway, appearance, taste, texture, durability, dunkability, post dunk taste, satisfaction, and moreishness will add up to a total score, and then we can see if it's in the top 113. Maybe it's lower than 113. Probably is. Let's find out. So first of all, let's begin with, nice and quickly, how are you feeling about the appearance of the Oreo? And I'm, I'm excited to hear about all And you've just written down Oreo on his face. That's very good. Well, you know, to make sure I get the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under, I, I think it's quite tidy. Out of ten? It's quite tidy. Appearance? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, what, what more do you want? I mean, okay, it's manufactured tidiness. Yes. As opposed to a manufactured untidiness, because they can do that as well. Uh, I don't trust a biscuit these days. Manufactured untidiness. Yes, but... I, well, sorry, I'm not I'm not smelling it at all. I'm, I'm just looking at it, and I'm saying... Yeah. Seven. Seven out of ten. I agree. Manufactured tidiness, don't like it. I don't like the fact that it's uniform every single time. That kind of scares me. That makes me think, how do they manage that to make it so perfect? And they probably throw away a lot of it that's imperfect. And that, to me, is wasteful, and it makes me angry. We have a biscuit factory, you know, near here, in yes. Kirkham. Yes, we do. Uh, Foxes. And... I can tell you that the stuff isn't wasted. If there's any leftovers, any misshapes and all that, all of those wonderful workers are taking them home because I've had quite a few foxes as well. Okay. Great. Foxes, biscuits, everybody. Yeah, there we go. Seven out of ten. Fine. Write it down. Okay. Typing. Imagine I'm typing like the old days. Tap a tap and you would tap see the, uh, the review sheet update. Uh, and we used to do this once a week, and it was quarter to the hour that we started. We've been a little bit, uh, bit slow. Yeah, the cup is leaking. I'll take it to the cup is fine. Mm. All right, so it's arguably the most important section. I bet Edgar Allan Poe. Very good. I like that. Uh, did you show it to the camera? Just oh, make sure it's that, nice yeah. and clearly in front of the camera. Edgar Allan Poe mug. It's good that, isn't it? I think that that looks like Hacking Phoenix. 
And I think he should play Edgar Allan Poe in a movie about Edgar Allan Poe. He would. He, he would be. Look at that. Doesn't it look like him? Yeah, it does. It does. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Uh, moving on quickly. So, arguably the most important part of the biscuit review is the taste section. So, mm. are you ready? Just take a good, good bite. You know, like a good... How is that birthday flavoured? Well, this is birthday party flavoured. That's, that's no different from any normal Oreo. It's been a while since I've had an Oreo, so I, I'm not sure I could do the comparison, but but I like the taste. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay, happy birthday, Oreos. Well, it's got a crunchiness that stays crunchy. You know, sometimes when you go into a biscuit... That's not... That's texture. We're talking about taste now. That's the next one. You've, have you watched? Have you ever watched any of these? It was usually over. Uh, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Does it not taste like confetti and party hats? It doesn't. Hello, happy holidays. Hey, DH and the three nine seven. Mm. It's not a party in my mouth, unfortunately, and it does look like a Wes Anderson film about how it does. It's a good, a good point. Um, taste of capitalism and disappointments is cool. Absolutely right. Go on. What number? Give me a number. <laughs> well, if you like the taste of Oreos, it's beyond five. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to stick with seven again. Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Fine with me. All right. Is somebody totaling this up for us? Because I'm not doing it. Okay. Next one. Fourteen. Moment. Texture. But you like the texture quite a lot. I do too. It's a good crunch. I think it's, I mean, it, I think it's got a good crunch, but it stays a crunch. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. lots of biscuits. The first one is a crunch, mm -hmm. and then it, mm -hmm. it completely quickly becomes a gunge. Yeah. You know, on your teeth. And um, and I think this maintains that crunch. Mm -hmm. mm, I like the mm -hmm. texture. And a nice contrast with the, uh, the, of course, the cream in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What more can I say? Um, yeah, I agree. It's, a, it's an eight, right? Or a nine. It's an eight. Eight point five. Eight point. Oh, do we do points? I forgot if we've done points. Yes, we do points. Eight point five, everybody. Smashing, getting a bit higher up in the skills thing in the, in the ranks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Durability. So, how many crumbs have you got around, and did it fall apart while you were eating it? Can you remember, or were you too busy I tried to munching get, upon that texture? I and tried to get rid of these crumbs, but then I found that they were just imperfections in my on desk. The desk. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what, what are we going for? Um. M. McCurtains is a year without biscuits is causing race scores. Race scores. Yes, M. Curtains or McCurtains. You're absolutely right. I'm feeling that too. I feel like, are we being overly positive here because of we probably haven't had a biscuit for a long time? And it might be the case. It might be the case. Maybe. Um, and also, it's your first one. You're giddy. It's Christmas. You're excited. You're not being a Grinch. It's quite good. It's seven or eight, yeah. isn't it? It's an eight. Yeah, sure. It didn't really crumble. No, 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 not in the least. It stayed quite strong together. It held up as a, as a shape. Again, it might be worrying, but uh, that, that <laughs> yeah. it's holding that shape. It's got that, some that sort of glue in there. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eight. 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 Oh, this is going to be a top 100. Um, you ready? Right, next one is... That was durability. Durability. Dunkability, everyone's favourite part of the show, right? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna hold it over the laptop. I'm gonna hold it here. But what you've got to do is you've got to hold it and you dunk it. Uh, one, two, three, remove. Test it. Dunk it. See if it'll go for a double. Okay. Are you ready? So, I'll just follow your lead. Yeah. So, and one, two, three. Show the camera. Can the camera see? Careful not to drip onto my laptop, please. All right. And then we're gonna go for a double. I think. One, two, three. Showing to the camera. It is holding again. My maybe terrifyingly so. Yours is about to collapse. Oh, oh. it's a splash down for the Neil Lewis biscuit, and that's it. It's a double dunker. <laughs> uh, mm. We're back in the realms of reality. Oh, it's soggy. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. No. No. No, I didn't like that. It's a six out of ten, five out of ten dunk because it went. Yeah. It didn't last after a double, and then the post dunk taste. I didn't like. I didn't, it made it worse to me. It was a five. Well, that gunginess came in that that wasn't there before. No, two fives. And again, the part of what we liked so much about the biscuit was the texture, mm -hmm. and then it kind of ruined it. So you've got yeah. dunkability is five, post dunk taste is five, and then 
Well, these are the final couple of things, and this is where we throw science to the wind. Because everything else has been so scientific. Scientific, yeah. yeah. Scientific. Calibrated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I'm looking for the piece in there now. Uh, just absorb it all. Um, so, a post of taste is five. A Doctor Who How do you feel? Absorb it all. Absorb it all, yeah. Also, something that you take for your gout. <laughs> absorb it all. Yeah, please. All right, so. <laughs> okay, everybody. Yeah, good. Good. I think it's probably better. Um, <laughs> wet cardboard are spooky a lot. Post drunk taste more like that's a good one. Uh, the face says it all. Uh, yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. All right. So let's have a look. Post, uh, satisfaction. How satisfied do you feel after eating two of them? Uh, satisfied. Yeah. Would I eat a third? Is that what you're asking, or, or yeah, what? Yeah. No, that's moorishness. Satisfaction is just how do you feel. Just tell me how you feel. Uh, so so. So so. I mean. Absorbital. So versus so so. So so. I'm, I'm not going to let the post dunking um, ruin your overall ruin satisfaction. my overall satisfaction. Well, again. But I think we'd maybe go four on the post dunk taste then, because if we're being that mean about yeah, it. Yeah, okay, let's go on four on there. Way we can do satisfaction seven. Uh, uh, six and a half. It's not. Six, six. Yeah, six. <laughs> and Just then, below and yours. And then moorishness. So how much do you want another one? And it's probably just because of the MSG that they pump in there. <laughs> yeah, but... <coughs> <coughs> that and uh, Chinese takeaways, they know how to do this. They do. <coughs> I think I found that extra little bit. <coughs> post, 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 eat, death. Uh, uh, Moorishness. I'm done. But I could eat another one. Got a whole pack. Got a whole pack. Six. Uh, six. Six. Yeah. Six. six it is. There we have all of our scores. Could you add them up for me, please? W I will. Seven, while seven, four, I get two, ready. Four, two, 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 well, first of all, crank. Yeah. This elevator music. And then it's time to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you all so very much for being here this Christmas and joining us. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this. And I cannot three, wait till next four, time. Five, six, Biscuits, I'm done in 2019. That's it. That's all we've got. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. Have you, has everyone enjoyed themselves? Would you want us to do more of this? Uh, <coughs> I thought it was going to be this, but for up. I have the answer. What's the answer? Six point five is the overall rating. No, but oh, the, the needs total to be the number total. Uh, fifty-two. Fifty-two is not particularly high. Let's have a look if we can scroll down the sheet <coughs> now and see where it ends up. Um, fifty-four, fifty-three, fifty-two point anything, or just fifty-two straight on. Straight on, fifty-two point that zero puts zero. That in at eighty-sixth place, eighty-seventh place, something like that. I can live with that. No. Sorry, I'm wrong. I can't live with that. 84th place. No. <clears throat> yes. No. Eight, I'm, I'm going, the, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. It's this one. Oh, there we I go. I was right the first time. 86th place. 86th. 88th. 86th. Something like this. <laughs> Merry Christmas. The Paros, yes, yes, Here's one yes, thing yes. that we do. Thank you very much. That was it for uh, today's biscuit review <clears> and <throat> biscuit quiz. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to head back to the bar here really quickly. Uh, we are going to say a huge thank you to everybody for coming, as we always do at the end of these streams. So, first of all, let's have a look through and have a look through this. This is going to take us a while, but I'm going to take a few and then you're going to take a few. Can you read those names? I think I can. So thank you so much for joining us today. Tuplex, thank you. Admantium13, aggressive underscore suck. Thank you, Alex Jaeger. Thank you, almost different. Thank you, and Merry Christmas, Andre2099. Thank you, another TV viewer. Thank you, Aiden, and thank you, Baldy Wookie. Baldy Wookie. Uh, big fun art as well. Blue Ganymede, Commander Benkai. Oh, we got oh some, some wonderful people. Uh, Commander More Prayer. Okay. Moon Prayer. Moon Prayer. Excuse Rise me. On that uh, new glasses. Uh, <laughs> Quickly. We got Commander Stevie Egg. Okay. Commander uh, Ascorbius yeah. or Ascorbius, depending on 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 your your, your version on the take. Uh, Commander Mingles. Let's see. We've got uh, Commander the Shrike. Yeah. Uh, Commander Dad. Comm Angelo as well. You Commander Dad. Seventy nine Angelo. Great. Commander Root. Cornelius Fanshaw. Uh, we've got Cosmogrog. We've got Merry Christmas, Denny Wisp. Merry Christmas, D H. Three nine seven. Merry feet. Christmas. I like oh, feet. A digital image. Merry Christmas, digital image. Thank you very much, Denny Whiskey. It's three nine seven digital image. Doom WZ feet. GZA underscore horny. Hello, it's Golo. It's Vodo Jack Little. Jade Tiger Girl. 
I'm lost. John uh, Bellow. Judge uh, Krilikov. We have Loreth. We Jester have D. JJ Smashing Pumpkins. Well. Three very important the curtains. People. Okay. Millstone Juts. Bart. Muzipan. Yes. Uh, some very good guesses today, Muzipan. Uh, Pup 3H. Pup. Uh, Pup. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kextel 87. Is it Kextel or Kextel? Sure. Retmark, uh, Revian or Ravian. Oh, uh, Richard, Sadie. Sadie, I like. Sadie's a good name. It's a good name. Yeah, yeah. Sayurosa. Uh, Sayurosa. Sayu, I'll get there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Where do I get my spiel from, everyone? I Silmarook, wonder. all that, yes. Silmarook, Skyner 81, SNTNL6. Merry Christmas, Spooky Lot. Merry Christmas, Star Spirit 76. Merry Christmas, Stone Dog. Merry Christmas, Tom Wynn. Merry Christmas, The Honey Thief. Merry Christmas, Tomcat0815. Merry Christmas, V underscore and underscore K. Very Merry Christmas, Vicaro Bros. Wake Up Hate, Whoever 11. Windsock, X47. And all together, Merry Christmas, X, 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 X Zen, Zen Archer, Zen Nost. That X, Becky. Merry Christmas, Walter Neil Lewis. Merry Christmas to you as well. Thank you very much. And we will see you on 2020. On and on. Bye bye.